Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I'm a personal trainer in Dallas and majority of my videos are based around fitness, nutrition, the occasional clothing haul, and the occasional vlog. And today I thought that it would be a really good idea, especially because we're getting into flu season, that I would share some tips and tricks and things that I do every single day in and outside of the gym so I don't get sick because if I'm sick, I can't train my clients and I don't make any money. So if you're interested in watching this video, then let's not waste any more time and let's get on into it. As it is super early this morning, it's a Wednesday and I'm still in my pajamas because it is my rest day and my recovery day. I definitely would start every single of my recovery days and every day in general with multivitamin gummies. I purchased mine at Costco, I'll put them on the screen. And these last me quite a while. My husband also takes them as well and they seem to really benefit him. We take them every single day, all year round. And I've definitely felt like they do help me in my overall health along with the flu season. And we've been taking these gummy vitamins, these specific gummy vitamins for about two or three years. So they definitely work. And I like them because they're gummies and they're not a big horse pill that you have to try to get down early in the morning. Throughout my channel, I have made my signature smoothie. I make it every single day. I've been doing this for three or four years. And if this is the first video that you've seen of mine, in my smoothie, I put four cups of spinach, two cups of water, two scoops of protein powder, chia seeds, a half a frozen banana and camu powder. Camu powder is a great, camu powder is a big essential for me in the mornings, especially because it has a big source of vitamin C and antioxidants. And I also throw in some ginger into my smoothies as well. That's pretty new, I've been doing that for a few weeks, but that seems to help me feel better too. Something that is very cliche in the fitness world, but is super, super important is to drink a lot of water. I am talking a gallon of water, 128 ounces minimum of day. This will help your body to not only let go of the retention, if you're holding any water in your body anywhere um, and you're feeling extra bloated, but this helps flush out really anything that's going on, especially on days that you don't feel that well staying hydrated and drinking plenty of water and listening to your body and giving your body what it needs to help repair itself. It's just simple, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. All right, so let's talk hand sanitizer. Some people may say that hand sanitizer brings down your immunity when others swear by hand sanitizer. I fall in the category of swearing by hand sanitizer. I'm a big advocate. I think it is really great to carry around with you, have in your car, take in your gym bag, really protecting yourself at all angles. I, for example, live in a big community and to get to the parking garage, I have to touch multiple doors and doorknobs that everybody else in my community grabs to open the door and go to the garage. So, I take a chance every single day leaving my community on getting whatever germs or whatever virus or whatever bacteria is on these doorknobs that everybody else is touching. So when I'm ready to leave and go to the gym or run my errands, I go through the process of getting out of my community, get into the garage, get into my car. The first thing that I do is grab my easily located hand sanitizer. It's right there where I don't have to really touch anything. Lather up my hands, get off all the germs that I just touched to get out of my community. And then I start to turn on my car, grab my steering wheel, touch my radio, do things like that. That way I have minimalized how many germs I've transferred kind of everywhere um, in between leaving the hallway of my community and getting into my car. And not to mention, think about all the germs that are probably on your car door handles. Now going along with what I keep in my car to minimize the germs, I keep Lysol wipes and then I also keep a bottle of alcohol, not the kind you drink, but the kind that helps clean wounds and gets bacteria off of things. You can pour the alcohol on a 
paper towel, a washcloth, a frequently washed washcloth, anything like that. And this will also help you when you stop for gas and you're touching the pump or you're running inside to go drop off a package at UPS or whatever the case may be. You're touching everything and then you get back in your car, then you're touching everything and then everything's dirty again. So having on the go Lysol wipes and a bottle of alcohol that you can clean frequently throughout the day. And I think it's pretty easy to grab a wipe and just clean really quick uh, before you get back onto your journey. So now let's say we've made it to the gym, we've gotten our gas, we've wiped down our car's interior or anything that we touch. Now we're at the gym and we're about to walk into the facility. So we're back to touching door handles, okay? You've left your car, you're walking into the facility, you grab the door handle, unless somebody is nice enough to open it for you. You grab the door handle and now you've got thousands and millions and trillions of germs on your hand. So what I do is I try to either open up the doors with my forearm if the doorknob is kind of like in a u shape um, i try everything to not actually grip the door handles regardless of where i am other than my home so now you are in the facility i being a personal trainer would walk to the personal training section of the gym and i would put down my equipment if i did touch the door or i had to touch things before i was able to get to the personal training session then I would go ahead and get out my hand sanitizer again, clean off my hand sanitizer, or go to one of the Purell stations along the wall at most facilities. Most facilities are pretty good about having hand sanitizer now, or I just go into the bathroom and wash my hands the regular way. Keeping hand sanitizer with you in your gym bag is super important because if you think about it, a lot of gym members don't necessarily bring their own gym equipment to the gym. That's why they pay for a membership because everything is there when they get to the gym so they don't have to spend all this money bringing things into the gym and getting a good workout. This will increase your chances of getting sick or getting the common cold or whatever the person had in front of you, whenever they touch that gym accessory, they most likely did not wash their hands and they're all sweaty and they're touching everything. A lot of gym members, unfortunately, don't wipe the machines down after they're done. I have seen a lot and that is why I'm a huge advocate of honestly, maybe being to the point of over sanitizing every single day but that's because i've seen so much and this is how i dodge not getting sick so i highly suggest before you touch anything with your hands unless you have gloves or you have a towel that you brought from home that is a clean towel that you can grab gym accessories like cable accessories and just different pieces of equipment i highly suggest wiping your hands with a sanitizing or bacterial wipe and having clean hands before touching the gym equipment. That way you can kill the germs that are on the equipment. If you don't have a sanitizing wipe, I highly suggest bringing a towel that's specifically for protection when you are sitting on a machine or you're trying to grab things to make your machine do what you want it to do. So now we're getting further along into our day. We're done with the gym. We've gotten back in our car. We've done our process of wiping our hands, cleaning the steering wheel, and doing everything that we can before we head back to our next destination. My destination after the gym is usually to come home. So whenever I get home, I make it a point to immediately put my stuff down, get Lysol wipes. I wipe down my doorknobs. I wipe down my light switches or really anything that I touched to help me assist getting into our home um, so I can see. <laughs> and I, this is one of the biggest things. I should have said this in the beginning. I wipe down my phone and my Apple Watch and my electronics all the time. Think about everything that we put our phones on, everything we grab and then we touch our phones. I wipe down my phone probably two or three times a day just because that thing is so germy and then we put it on our face and that is just asking for a rash or a breakout on your face or I don't know. It's just, I, I wipe down my phone all the time and I think you should too. Once I've wiped down everything that I've touched since I've entered my home, since I've wiped down my phone, my electronics, 
Then I go ahead and I take off all of my gym clothes. I immediately throw them in the wash so I'm not just soaking in all of that sweat and all of the gym germs. So I immediately take off my clothes, I put them in the washer, and I take a shower. And I take a hot shower, take a steamy shower, and this will help to open up your pores, relax your body, and most importantly, clean your body. And now that I've been talking to you for a minute, I do kind of feel like I'm a borderline OCD maybe, I'm not sure, but all I can tell you is I have dodged sickness for a long time. Everybody is different, everybody's immune system is different, so everything that I just said may not work for you or certain things that I just suggested may work for you, but these are the things, the simple things that work for me, and I do feel like I made it seem like I'm spending majority of my day wiping down things. It literally takes three seconds to do and it keeps me from getting sick. So I hope that you guys were able to grab some little nuggets of knowledge throughout this flu season video of mine. And if I remember anything else, I can do another part two. Or if you have any questions on what it's like to be a personal trainer or you want to know more about being a personal trainer or what I do in my daily life, or if you just want any suggestions, give this video a like and hopefully that will lessen your chance of getting sick this flu season. And here is your daily reminder to drink water, go do something that makes you feel good, and I will see you next time. Bye. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions.